So in the previous section, we have seen some of the B class and A class, C class examples. In this section, we'll take one A class example with a requirement with a little bit higher requirement. Let's say 16,000 host addresses we want to calculate by using any of the A class. So normally in the production networks, such a big networks, you don't find, but when it comes to designing, it's really important for you to know how to calculate a big size networks with A class, B class, or any other classes. So we need to follow the same step-by-step -step calculation as we did in our previous examples. So to the power of h minus two greater than equal requirement. Now here the requirement is 16,000. Now we need to figure out which, uh, what is the nearest two power value satisfies our condition. So to the power of 14, it is 16,384. So the nearest possible value which satisfies my condition is to the power of 14, 16,384. In the two addresses we cannot use, the first and the last address. So the valid host address is how many? This is your valid host addresses, 16,382. Now based on this, we can figure out how many host bits we require. We need just four, 14 host bits and the converted network bits if i figure out in a class there is only one network portion and the remaining there are three host portions so which means if i write network as it is so if i take network as one two three four five six seven eight is the first host portion and one two three four five six seven eight next host portion and then one two three four five six seven eight so by default, there are 24 host bits and eight network bits. So out of 24 host bits, I don't need 24 host bits. I just need only 14. So which means if I want to figure out converted network bits is equal to from total host bits, that is 24, I'm subtracting 14. So 10 gets converted. So which means I can convert 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And the remaining host bits are exactly 14 as per my requirement. So the network bits will be, it will be 8 already and this is also 8 and it is 2 and then 0. So which means the tally of 8 and 24 changes to, uh, let me write down total network bits is equal to, by default there are 8 plus 10 gets converted, it becomes 18. So it will change to 18 and 14. So 18 network, 14 host, total it will be 32 host bits. Sorry, 32 bits completely. And up to here is done. If you want to find how many subnets we get, we can use to the power of n value, that is your converted network bits. Now here the converted are 10, to the power of 10, 1024 subnets I'll get. If I go on divide a class network, which supports 16 million, network, million addresses, if I divide them in 16,000, I get exactly 1024 subnets. Okay, so the next thing we need to figure out the subnet mask. Now the subnet mask is calculated. Now here you can see the subnet mask here itself. So if you add 8 bits, it will be 255. 8 bits if you add 255. So if you are adding 2 bits, if you add 2 bits, just 192 and then 0. So the next thing we need to figure out, so the entire calculation up to here is same. The next thing we need to write down the range, how to write the range. Now coming back to the range, range always written based on the two to the power of h value. Right now the two to the power of h value is two to the power of 14, that is 16384 is the size of the network. Now whenever you get a bigger network, as we discussed, we need to always use two to the power of h divided by 256. So here the total power of h value is 16384 divided by 256 and how many how many addresses we get in 16384 means uh, 16 into 4 16 into 4 it's 64 okay so which means we need 64 blocks of addresses in order to accommodate 16384 addresses we need 64 blocks okay so 64 blocks, how I got 64 into 256, if you multiply, you get 16384. Because each block, each block is 256 at the size. And, and like that, if you want to accommodate, uh, if you want uh, 16384 addresses, we need 64 blocks of addresses. So the next thing we need to write the range. The range always written based on to the power of h value. 
So we are going to write the range here something like this. So let me write down here. So it starts with 10, 0, 0.0.0. .0, .0. We need to write multiples of 64. So I'm going to write 64.0 here, plus 64, plus 64. And the range ends on 10.0.63.255. And it will end on 127.255. And then 191.255 and then 255.255 here. Now what's the continuation? So if you just go and add here, if you just add 192 plus 64, if I add plus 64, now here everything is plus 64 because I'm, I'm incrementing uh, 64 blocks in each and every portion. Don't increment here. If you increment here, it will be just 64 addresses. So we are incrementing here and it will be 256.0. So there is no address with 256. So the last address will be 255.255 here. So that's something we did. So which means that continuation address will be, what's the continuation address will be? So it will be 10.1.0.0. And then again, 64.0, 128.0, 192.0. Once you are done with 10.1, again, we try 10.2, again, four times. Again, 10.3, four times. 10.4 four times like that we need to write up to up to 10 dot dot something like that so that's how the range we write we don't need to write on the complete range in general but you need to understand that once we finish with 10 dot zeros we need to start with 10 dot 1 dot 0 dot 0 64 dot 0 128 dot 0 and 192 dot 0 similar way we need to write with 10 dot 2 also 10 dot 3 also like that we can write up to 10 dot 255 dot 0 .0, 64.0, 128.0, .0, and 192.0, and the range ends on 10.255.255.255. So if you go on write like this, you will get complete uh, how many how many networks? You get 1024 networks. So that is something we already calculated in our previous uh, formula here. How many subnets I get here? So 1024 subnets. Okay, so you really need, don't need to write the complete range here, but you just need to understand how the range comes. Okay, so like that, we need to write uh, just like this, you know, just continue and then write down like this. So 63.255 and then 127.255 and then 191.255 and then finally 10.255.255.255. Okay, so this is how the range comes. And here, if you if you just revise how we got the complete calculation, our requirement is 16,000 addresses, and the nearest value satisfies is 14, so which means 16384 is a possible size. So in this, I, I just need only 14 host bits, so I'm using 14 host bits. H value is 14, and then the remaining bits, which is 10, I'm converting them into network. Okay, so which means it will be 8 plus 8 plus 2 plus 0. So it's 255, 255, 192.0 will be the subnet mask. So I, I 10, uh, we need just 14 host bits, 10 gets converted, and the total tally of 8 and 24 will change to 18 and 14. And then finally, writing the range, uh, to write the range, we need uh, 64 blocks of addresses because uh, in order to accommodate 16384, we need we need around 64 blocks of addresses. Okay, so in the group of 64 addresses, 64 addresses, uh, 64 blocks of addresses will become one network. And the slash value or the subnet mask will be uh, will be how much? Slash 18. That is the subnet mask. Total network bits. Okay, so 18 plus. Anyway, I'll come to the slash value more in detail in my next sections. Anyway, so that's how we calculate any A class network. So A class network, we just need to increment this third, this portion also. Now there is last one more thing I would like to add whenever you're writing the range. If you, if you just go back to the previous B class examples or A class examples or C class examples. So we are incrementing in different portions. So whenever you are network size, uh, network size is greater than or uh, sorry, it can be less than or equal to 128. So we need to ensure that we increment only in the fourth portion. So we increment where? On this fourth portion. Now the reason is because if your network size is just 64, we had multiples of 64 here. 64, 128, 0, 192. So if your network size is just 32, so we just write 0, 32, 64, multiples of 34. 
And also if your network size is 128, we write 0.0 and then 0.128. So we increment here. But when your network size becomes more than 128, which means if it becomes greater than or equal to 256, so we generally increment in the third portion, in this portion. Now why? Because if my network size is 256, I need one block. So when you're writing the range, we write 0.0. .0 and then we write 1.0 because the range ends on 0 0.255 and it's a complete one block so it's a complete 256 services and then when you're writing the range we increment plus one plus one plus one like this so if your network size is 512 the next possible size it will be 0 0.0 and 2.0 increments of 2 if your network size is 1024 increments of 4 so we, we, we get increments here not here because this part we'll use only if your network size is small and when we come back to this part if your network size goes bigger bigger than 256 or equal to 256 and in case if your network size which is not generally possible if it is greater than or equal to 65,536 then only we come back to this portion okay because these two portions will not be sufficient to meet this network size because it will be 2 to the power of 16, 65,536. So this is one thing we need to remember uh, when you are writing the range because you because normally you will get confused where to increment, which portion to increment. It all depends upon the size of the network. It's not based on the A class, B class or C class because normally uh, because in, in my C class examples I incremented here. So you might be thinking that we need to increment in the C class, not like that. It's based on the size, it can be any class requirement.